So this is my Raspberry Pi, same old box from before. Um, I haven't made a video in quite a while because I didn't realise there was any interest in the last video. I set up a Gmail account and never got any notifications of any of the comments made. Didn't realise it had gone past 10 views. Uh, so yeah, the cable goes from the Raspberry Pi just now, and that's Bilbo the cat, all the way over to the surround sound. Uh, so, pretty much the same kind of system as I had before. Um, I moved to California, so never took my Pi with me, and never thought I'd go and pick it back up again, but with all the interest and stuff in the YouTube comments, I thought why not. Um, it was quite good fun anyway, so I thought it'd make the whole system better. So, I'd like to apologise for the blurriness in the last video. Like I said, I never really thought anybody would watch it, apart from my grandparents, and to be honest, the blurriness would never have been a factor to them. Um, I'd just like to say thanks for the comment about having marbles in my mouth when I talk. That was I got quite the slagging from uh, for that comment. It was quite funny. Uh, and there was also a debate in the last video on whether or not I was using Internet Explorer. Um, it was actually Firefox, but I guess due to the blurriness, you can tell. But yeah, me and IE are definitely not the best of friends. So. This has been pretty much a rewrite. Um, beforehand, I was using MPD and uh, the DSpotify kind of mods that I'd came across with Arch Linux. Uh, it's now Debian, and I'm using Mopedi with MPD and MPC. Uh, Mopedi is brilliant at interfacing with Spotify. Uh, I started rewriting this a couple of weeks ago, so it's still pretty basic, but it's, it does everything. Um, up until two days ago it was still Arch Linux and MPC but I completely messed everything up and thought I'd switch distribution just to kind of give me something new to do. Uh, so yeah, this is this is the new interface. It's all coded in Dojo 1.9 and it's AMD compliant. Uh, if we stick in a band, let's say Daft Punk. Cat's back. Uh, and hit search. Okay. So we have a list of tracks. Uh, we hit play. We have like a live progress of what's going on. You can't really see it here just now, but that little black bar is the seek bar. And then up here we also have um, a sliding volume seek bar. Uh, we can queue songs. And when you queue them, they become deactive. I don't know if you can see the colour change on the video, but they become kind of grey uh, just to stop you from being able to cue them twice. That's like more of a personal preference. So we can pause that. Yeah. Uh, so you have your search and you can stick in whoever you want because it's linked up to Spotify. Should pretty much bring back anything that's worthwhile listening to. So if we stick in the view and grace, which is a great Scottish band. Uh, and hit play on them. It will clear the current queue and just jump straight to that. So that's that. You have so if we queue some of these random songs that came up as well. Pause again. Uh, we can go over to the playlist and there's the current playlist. So while we're playing, we can delete music. So if we play again. Uh, we can delete songs from the playlist and it'll automatically update. So, uh, we've got play.previous next, so pretty obvious what they do. Uh, we'll clear and search. Um, clear clears the full playlist. Um, these buttons at the top here are playlists that I've got stored in Spotify already. So if I press quick, I'll bring up my quick playlist, uh, just like my favourite songs just now. And then I can jump straight into one of them. Uh, and then obviously, next and previous will uh, go through the tracks. So, that's that. Um, it also works pretty well as just a iPhone web app. So it's the exact same, but without the URL bar. Uh, so that's pretty much the phone thing. Um, this will be open source. Um, 
I will be rewriting all the RF stuff as well. The idea is that over the next week or so, um, I'll be um, making videos on how to get this on your device, on your Raspberry Pi. Um, it does need tidied up. Like I said, I switched to Mopidi just a couple of days ago, so just now it is a hybrid between MPC and no Mopidi. It does work quite well, but uh, it does need tidied up. Once I've tidied it up, I will make it available on GitHub and show videos on how to set it up. Um, once the weekend has passed, I'm going to order some RF equipment and I'll be redoing that in the same sort of fashion, keeping it as dojo widgets. Um, so yeah, that's the mobile version. The laptop or the desktop version, I should say, is pretty much the same. Um, all the same interface, you've got your slider for your volume. So you just hit play. Uh, you can turn the volume up. Uh, and there's the slider. Um, I just keep pausing it so that you can hear me over the music because I know it's hard enough to understand my accent as it is. Uh, so if we do a search here, it's exactly the same. Uh, Kings of Leon. Uh, two rows instead of one, or two columns, sorry, instead of one, so pretty much the same. Um, there is a settings option up here that allows you to display the album art. Uh, so if we now put in Biffy Pyro. Yeah, so it brings back, it's a little bit slower loading up because I can only do the two post requests at the time to get the art. Um, but yeah. That all works pretty well. Um, so yeah, that's that's the complete rewrite of the Spotify widget just now. Um, I will be making this open source, as I said. Uh, sorry, that should be false instead of the false. Not that it matters. Um, yeah, so I'll be making this open source. Uh, hopefully by the end of next week, I'll try and tidy up the code a little bit more. Uh, remove some of the more hybrid features that are in there just now. Uh, and that's... That will be that. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully this video will turn out a lot better than the last video. Um, and again, thanks for all the great comments that I had in the last video. It was really good to see some interest. Um, hopefully I'm easier to understand as well. And yeah, if you have any feedback, please let me know. Um, I'll try and get my next video made up on the tutorials and the guide and everything. I'm getting this set up by next week. Thank you.